let's talk about the best associate level IT certifications for the year of 2023. This is again associate level, not entry level. We're gonna talk about the best entry level certifications in a separate video. This is for beginners or who wants to start their career in IT. And let's say up to a couple of years of experience in tech. I still hate those best certification videos mixing associate, mid slash professional, and even expert level certifications. Like they put Security Plus and OC OSCP on the same list. Or CCNA and CCIE on the same freaking list. That is so stupid. The certifications should be in a different tier or different levels. Now, I based this list on many different criteria, such as market value, market demand, exam content, potential pay, career path, and there is one more, recertification strategy. Here is the best example. I have 50 plus certifications from this IT vendor. I just need to pass one exam for every couple of years or three years. And all of these certifications, this 50 plus certifications will be automatically renewed. This list is designed for you to get a better role. So avoid A plus certifications, please, because I don't want you to start your career fixing printers. Is it possible for you to land a better job? Absolutely! Last, top certifications that we'll talk about require skills and knowledge associated with the exam. Cut the certification versus skills debate. The goal is to get certified because you have the skills and knowledge. No cheating, please. What is my qualification doing this video? I have 60 certifications and it keeps growing. I started my career as a programmer, then became a web Linux administrator, then a network engineer, then a security specialist, then a solutions architect, became a global instructor to travel the world, been a hiring manager multiple times, helped thousands of people build their IT career and helped them move from their poor countries to the United States Australia, UK, Canada, and Singapore. I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivian tutorials in cybersecurity, trivian tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Tier 1.0 Base Certifications This means you still don't have any idea which career path that you will be taking. It can be network, servers, cloud, or cybersecurity. And let's say you only have a budget of 4 certifications. Let's begin. First, Cisco Certified Network Associate or CCNA. This should be your very first certification is still the most popular certifications of all and it's also a good idea to build your network skills first. This certification will also introduce you to other technologies such as cybersecurity, cloud, and data center. Second, Comptia Linux Plus. One of the most important technologies to learn is Linux, of course. And having a good foundation in Linux will give you opportunities in cybersecurity, cloud, and data center roles. The exam doesn't only cover Linux basics, but also shows you how to apply Linux to many different technologies, such as automation, cloud, etc. Third, F5 Certified Big IP Administrator or F5CA. This complements your CCNA and CompTIA Linux Plus certifications. If there is a certificate that gives you a fundamentals in various cloud services, such as load balancer, web application firewall, VPN, caching, web applications, etc., this is it. Because F5 Big IP is a device that processes servers and application traffic. 
and at the same time is a security and network appliance. Not only that, I already mentioned this in another video that F5 is a very expensive product. It's the Ferrari of security and network appliances. And if you are certified to manage their platform, of course, company will pay you more than the average salary. Fourth, the last, Arista Cloud Engineer or ACE Level 2 Cloud Associate. This is a cloud networking certification. And uh, maybe you're thinking, you are biased, Dean. Hold on. Okay, hear me out. Let me explain. Uh, this certification is rare. Why is that? It's very rare for you to see an associate level certification that is hands on practical lab exam. And uh, yeah, there's some more. Okay, well, one of these is Certified Kubernetes Application Developer or CCAD, but it has a bad uh, certification renewal. Okay, so back to ACE. Um, ACE or Arisa Certified uh, Level 2 Cloud Associate introduce you to many network technologies, but this is a little special because it is designed for cloud environment and it will introduce you to SDN and spine and leaf architecture. I have a huge respect to lab-based certification exams. The level of knowledge that you would gain is nothing compared to written exams. Let's say you want to specialize in cloud and data center with zero or very minimal cloud and data center experience. Can you go ahead with cloud and data center certifications? Of course, we have top associate level certifications for cloud and data center. So let's begin. First, AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate. Why AWS? Because it's the leading cloud service provider. Their certification is very popular and the most in demand in the market. Second, Microsoft Certified Azure Administrator Associate is the second most popular and in-demand cloud service provider. Third, Google Cloud ACE or Associate Certified Engineer. Aside from being the third most popular cloud service provider, I'm a fan of Kubernetes. And the best Kubernetes as a service is GKE and not AWS EKS. GKE stands for Google Kubernetes Engine runs in Google Cloud Platform or GCP. Now the fourth, the last, Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. This is the only certification that talks about application development, cloud basics, containers, automations, APIs, networking, Python, and many cloud-related services. This certification gives you an idea what you really want to specialize in your cloud and data center career. So there. This, this means I can skip the tier 1.0 base, such as CCNA, Linux Plus, F5CA, and Arista Certified Cloud Engineer. Well, you may, but it's highly recommended for you to have a solid foundation in networking, Linux, and application delivery controller. So what if the budget is good for only four certifications? Well, you can pick any four certifications from the list, but if you will ask me, I will go for CCNA and F5CA for the base certifications, and for cloud, I will go for AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate and Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. I think Linux is something you can self-study even without certifications. And amongst all cloud service provider, AWS is definitely the most in-demand and the most popular. Let's say you want to specialize in cybersecurity with zero or very minimal experience, and you also want to skip cloud and data center certifications. Can you go straight taking cybersecurity certifications? Absolutely. And we have also top associate level certifications for cybersecurity path. Let's start first. CompTIA Security Plus, the most well-known associate level cybersecurity certification. And this should be the first one to take 
because it introduces you to the basics of networking, security solutions, malware, vulnerabilities, various attacks, and many more. Next, it would be a good idea for you to not just understand basic attacks and vulnerability concepts, but also how to use various penetration testing tools by simulating these attacks. This is the best complement to your CompTIA Security Plus certifications. The question is, why not CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker? Well, it's also well known. And uh, we have two reasons why not to take CEH. First, you need to pay for the training, which costs you much. Second, CEH, it has a poor recertification strategy. It's only valid for three years, and there is no other valuable certifications from the organization EC Council. Third, formerly known as CCNA CyberOps, and this is now renamed to Cisco Certified CyberOps Associate. The exam and course associated to this certification covers many things, such as network analysis, network attacks, Cisco Security Appliances, SOC Playbook, OSINT, and many more. This certification is really designed for those individuals who wants to work in a SOC or Security Operations Center environment. Number four and the last, no, it's not CompTIA CYSA+. Keep dreaming! Our next certification or next best certification is Fortinet NSE Level 4 Professional Certification. Well, it's not really professional level, uh, but an associate level certification. It focuses on Fortigate, which is the Fortinet next generation firewall solution. The good thing about this is as a beginner, you can complete first the NSE or the uh, network security expert level one, two, and three certifications. These are all for free. And uh, those three certifications, those are entry level certifications focuses more on security awareness and introduce various Fortinet solutions. This gives you the momentum to start your Fortinet cybersecurity technical certifications and career. Does this mean I can skip tier 1.0 or base certifications such as CCNA, CompTIA Linux Plus, F5CA, and Arista Cloud Engineer Level 3? Well, you may, but it is highly recommended for you to have a solid foundations in networking, Linux, and application delivery controller. Now, if the budget is only good for four certifications, you can pick any four from the list. But for me, this will be tough. I will go for CCNA, F5CA, CompTIA Security Plus, and CompTIA Pentest Plus. The reason why I didn't choose Cisco Cyber Ops Associate is because it's still new and probably the least popular. But man, I'm telling you, if you complete at least six of these cybersecurity certifications, you will get into cybersecurity field easily and you'll be on your way to a successful cybersecurity career. So, that's my list. What do you think, guys? Stay tuned for more best IT certifications. I will publish dedicated videos for best cloud and data center certifications, meet and expert level. Also, best cybersecurity certifications, also meet and expert level, plus best network certifications. And finally, I will also create a video dedicated for entry level certifications. Again, Associate and entry-level certifications are different. Entry-level certifications, sometimes I call this the loser-level certifications.